What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm gonna check out Randy Orton is Mr. Survivor Series, man, by Wrestling Premiere. I saw this in my recommended uh, section, and I was like, yo, I gotta check this out before Survivor Series. Since we all know Randy Orton is making his return in War Games to help out uh, Team Cody, that's if he actually does help them out. But he has been integral in some of the survivor series in the past randy orton has been very important in those survivor series matches so it's, it, we had to check this out it only made sense we will see at uh survivor series this year if randy orton will be once again the integral piece into who wins the war games match i do think it will come down to him and what he does which fits the theme in this video when it comes to the survivor series randy orton is that guy so we're gonna check this out appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel let's get right into this one a video about randy orton as survivor series <laughs> okay the viper the apex predator randy orton randy orton has an incredible history as survivor series a history that rivals none orton's come up as privileged very few wrestlers have such a great introduction as he did the game triple h backed him and created a faction known as evolution evolution's sole goal was to ensure triple h was champion but outside the ring it was about developing the future of the WWE. Orange Survivor Series debut is an immediate memorable one. This man dropped Mark Cuban, the Dallas Mavericks owner with an RKO, and featured in one of the greatest Survivor Series matches ever. Mm -hmm. Shawn Michaels' performance deserves its own documentary or something. For sure. Damn good. He played the perfect babyface role and showed everyone how to do it. Three to one down, he's booked to make this comeback. He makes his comeback, and it wasn't entirely his talent that helped him get to the very end, but some luck. And mm -hmm. Orton, in this case, was at the right place at the right time with Batista's interference. He mm -hmm. won, but few realized this was the start of a historic run for Randy Orton as it relates to the Survivor Series. Fresh off being kicked out of Evolution, Randy Orton had quite the 2004. His year from the last Survivor Series to the next was filled with plenty of memorable moments that elevated Orton from a young upstart to a surefire main eventer. At this point, he was a babyface, a role many felt he was wrongly casted as. Orton led a team of Jericho, Benoit, and Maven. The fact that Maven was in a WWE pay-per-view main event is strange. It's really out there, but I'm sure he enjoyed the five-figure payday. Yeah. Orton used the Survivor Series experience to steer clear of the heels. Two-on-one, -on -one, he was stuck, and for the first time, officially beat Triple H clean in the middle of the rink. It seemed like a sign of what's to come, and for a short time, Orton as a babyface was on top of the world. That didn't last too long, though. Yet another amazing match and an amazing performance for the legend killer. This time around, Orton was in a position he wasn't supposed to be. And amidst his feud with The Undertaker, the legend killer was out to kill the dead man's legend. In his eyes, he succeeded. With Survivor Series coming up, Orton failed to qualify for Team SmackDown. Unfortunately, Eddie Guerrero passed away during this time and Orton replaced him. SmackDown vs. Raw at Survivor Series 2005 was, in my eyes, a match that's underappreciated. I would even go as far as to say that it was one of the best Survivor Series elimination matches and that all stems from the incredible build mm. just exploding Bro, it's match. crazy the to match. say he really is Mr. Survivor Series. That's crazy, bro. It comes full circle this weekend. Oh, man. He followed up on the build in many ways, even the post-match segment. But for Orin, he was becoming a seasoned veteran inside these elimination matches. He was rolling different here, slithering like a snake and capitalizing on a couple of occasions. Even took advantage of HVK to win the match for SmackDown. Soul Survivor the third year mm -hmm. in a row. I like this. WWE was starting to realize, hey, Randy Orton's been looking good at Survivor Series. Let's continue that. And each performance up to this point was different. A unexperienced rookie whose ambitions didn't really match reality and had to be saved by his own partner. Second, a wronged man looking to right his own mistakes and take out his biggest supporter turned rival. And the third, a experienced man choosing the right moments to take advantage. <laughs> Then The Undertaker mm -hmm. came out. Yep. We'll <laughs> Re-establishing Randy Orton was one of WWE's most important objectives in 2007. It was clear he was on his way to becoming a long-time main eventer, but they felt he needed to become more calculated and sadistic. Enter the Viper. Now, you guys know Orton's insane. He punts people, takes them out, and the latter yes. is what he did best. Matter of fact, taking out John Cena won him the WWE Championship, and he didn't even need to fight for that title. Orton was proclaiming it to be the age of Orton. Shawn Michaels, though, had a huge problem. A problem from five months ago, and after a failed title challenge involving Orin disqualifying himself, a rematch was made for Survivor Series. But the switch in music was banned. This led to a technical battle which was built on Michaels being forced to adapt. The crossface was used for the first time since the Chris Benoit thing, and Orin, despite mm -hmm. his strong advantage, was prone to errors. Nonetheless, HBK realizing his mistake of attempting a switch in music allowed for Orin to hop in and drop him with the RKO to retain 
the title. When I saw this RKO while making this video, oh my god, mm. I forgot just how good it was. It just comes right out of nowhere, and it shows you why the RKO is so one of the good. Most one of the most. Oh my god, bro, he is bringing back memories, dog. I really forgot he is Mr. Survivor Series. He's that guy in Survivor Series, and once again, it's probably going to come down to him and what he does at this year's Survivor Series in War Games. This is... I'm glad I checked this video out. I'm so glad I checked this out. Moves in wrestling history. It was very different to the main events at the time. It felt more strategic with the no switching music rule. And Orin looked great in here, as did HBK. John Michaels is Mr. WrestleMania, whereas Orin's Mr. Survivor Series. Orin in 2008 was booked to realize he thrives in groups, but never before did he have the chance to completely leave. Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase mm -hmm. shared similarities with Orin being multi-generational wrestlers. And upon his return from a motorcycle accident, Orin went all in and building the legacy. Batista was a big roadblock early on, though. In his pursuit of the World Heavyweight Championship, it was necessary to go after the animal who was once champion a couple of weeks earlier. Plus, with his evolution ties, it was almost a personal feud. The match was decent and Survivor Series, but pilled in comparison to others. Orin developed a mean streak with Rhodes by his side and showed that very intelligence he was known for at the time. Batista was outnumbered, and while he did put in the work to dismantle the heels, it was far too much in the end with Orin using Cody Rhodes to tag in and hit the RKO to win the match. Yet another Survivor Series victory for the Viper, mm. and it kind of uh, slowed down a bit here. 2010 was a standout year for Randy Orton. At time, he moved forward from his heel character that set him back on track to dominate the WWE. This time around, Orin was a stone cold little babyface with the same <laughs> character traits as his heel run. He finally won the title as a babyface and was on an upward trajectory as this good guy that nobody foresaw a year ago. At the same time emerged the Nexus. Wade Barrett led the group on a tear, leaving a trail of destruction behind them, and it didn't take too long for Barrett to set his sights on the WWE Championship held by the Viper. John Cena, a member of the new Nexus, was made the special referee and stuck in a controversial situation. Barrett wins, his enemy is champion, and Cena is out of Nexus, but if he counts the fall for Orton, John Cena himself is gone. And mm -hmm. fire. The match here is one of Orin's weakest as Survivor Series. It was very average, and the story was centered around John Cena and yeah. Nexus. Cena did what he did to keep the integrity of the WWE Championship and pin the fall for Randy Orton to retain the title. Not the best match, but yet another successful defense for Orin as Survivor Series. Bro, and this is crazy. I mean, talk, uh, he's won at Survivor Series. Yo! While since Orin was a heel, he emerged as the authority's golden boy at SummerSlam and from there was positioned in storyline as the face of WWE. The corporation's storyline was used as inspiration except the heels didn't get their comeuppance very often. Big Shaw of all people is the first one to strike and hit them where it hurts with a KO on Beep. Triple H. It's strange to say but Big Shaw got a title shot at Survivor Series against Orin and what everyone expected happened. It wasn't a good match, nor was it a good pay-per-view. Yeah. But hey, at least he used a punt to retain the title. On the next, the shit out of you. <laughs> hey, this match wasn't memorable. Yeah. No. That pay-per-view in itself was bad. No one really talks about it for good reason because very underwhelming. I don't even think it was underwhelming. It was just disappointing from the beginning. The build wasn't the best. The show itself, and of course the main event. So there's that. 2016 was a very noteworthy year for WWE. They brought back the brand split and went to the past for inspiration. With Survivor Series coming, SmackDown vs. Raw was back for the first time in 11 years. Randy Orton returned just in time mm -hmm. after he gave away due to injury. And at this point, he was seen as an... Which is crazy because Randy Orton has just returned as Survivor Series because, you know, he was out because of injury. This is... It's like it's... History is repeating itself. <laughs> veteran, almost like a wrestler from a previous era. Orin was a part of Team SmackDown at a point where he aligned with the Wyatt family. Orin infiltrated the faction, but it yet to be revealed. SmackDown vs. Raw as Survivor Series was incredible. Mm -hmm. All of these stories came together and intensified. It's one of the best matches WWE had in 2016. Hell, one of the best good. matches from the 10s. If I had to list it, it's probably top 10 matches from the 10s. It just has to be. This is so good, bro. Action, the drama. This was about so match good. Was something special, and WWE has yet to replicate nope. that Survivor Series match to this very day. Orn's story was about trust. He wanted Bray Wyatt to trust him, and during the match, he capitalized on moments and helped stack mm -hmm. the deck against Roman Reigns. It was a tough task, and Orn at one point had to sacrifice himself to save Bray Wyatt, which led to Team SmackDown's mm -hmm. win. This added to the trust with Bray Wyatt. Rest and in peace, Bray, man. Another classic Survivor Rest Series Rest in peace, match. Bray. Going too soon. In the match, doubtful but he played a big part in scoring the victory for his own team and added to his Survivor Series legacy. Randy Orton had just come off an incredible 2020, 2020. So for 2021, he took things slow. They were calm with him and attacked him with Matt Riddle 
opened way for the fans to see a different side of the Viper. Orin was never a lengthy tag team guy, but it added a whole lot more to his career, teaming up with Matt Riddle. Mm -hmm. We've seen how he is in singles matches, but for some reason, he excelled and was at his best as a tag team guy. Yeah. Orin with a hot yeah. tag was incredible. There was this fire, this motivation yeah. about him with Matt Riddle that we didn't see very often. It was reignited the previous year, but it was intensified here. His tag team with Riddle brought him the Raw Tag Team Championships, and they faced the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the Usos, as Survivor Series. They were given a lot of time, and despite the lack of experience between both teams, it served as a nice first match between them, mm -hmm. because as we know, they ended up having some great matches later on. Mm -hmm. Orin hit a beautiful RKO to score that victory for Team Raw, and once again, mm -hmm. it's another victory for him as Survivor Series. But it was a pretty good match. It was one of the best matches in the show, a show which I believe was disappointing. I personally don't remember. I obviously made a video on it, but I don't remember much about it, but I definitely do remember enjoying this match. It was very fun. So that's Orin as Survivor Series. Now, there's obviously a lot of other performances Performances he had where he didn't win. 2009 yeah. comes to mind. Orin beat the hell out of Kofi Kingston, had a two on one advantage with CM Punk, only to end up losing after Punk was eliminated not 10 <laughs> seconds earlier. 2011, another performance. Orin fought against Team Barrett and made it to the very end, but fell short to Rhodes and Wade Barrett. They were trying to make Wade Barrett a star at this point, similar to Kofi Kingston, and beating Orton in his own game at Survivor Series was a way of showing, hey, we want to invest in Wade Barrett. We want this guy to be a big heel in the future. Same thing in 2012, 2012. Dolph Ziggler was the one being pushed with the Money in the Bank briefcase. They were having to win a lot of matches. Feuding with Orton, and again, he beat Orton at his own game. Survivor Series. Orton was the last man standing here, similar to the previous one, and he had to do the job for Dolph Ziggler. 2017, Orin didn't do much here. 19, there was a moment with a lot of RKO's, but his team ended up losing, and he was eliminated earlier on. So that's Randy Orton's legacy at Survivor mm. Series. He's probably the greatest wrestler in Survivor Series history. He's featured in a lot of matches. Mm -hmm. All of his matches here, for the most part, were good. Like, almost every match I mentioned here was good, very entertaining stuff. Even when Orin was on the losing end, a lot of his matches were great. Orin has 16 eliminations throughout his Survivor Series elimination Damn. match career. The most in WWE history. And who knows? Maybe he might add it in the future. We'll see. He cemented his place in WWE history, and his Survivor Series run only adds to that. He's obviously going to be considered one of the best regardless of this Survivor Series For run. sure. And it's a nice little thing, you know? Brock Lesnar and Hulk Hogan have SummerSlam, and Randy Orton has Survivor Series. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what'd you guys think of Randy Orton as Survivor Series? Please comment down below. Next this was great. Make sure you hit the punt on the like. <laughs> what he said, make sure you hit the punt. Survivor Series, please comment down below. And that's the first video. Make sure you hit the punt on the like button. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm gonna I'm definitely punt that like button for you, bro. This was this was a good one, bro. This was definitely a good one, man. Y'all go subscribe to Wrestling for me if you haven't already. Ah, it comes full circle, man. It, I think it's safe to call Randy Orton Mr. Survivor Series. He is definitely Mr. Survivor Series. I have forgotten how many matches and stuff he's been involved in Survivor Series and won. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he plays into Survivor Series this year. I'm looking forward to it. We are all looking forward to it. I do believe he's going to be a very integral part on if Team Cody wins against Judgment Day. He's going to be very, very important. Whatever they got planned for him to do, I can't wait. So comment down below. Let me know y'all favorite Survivor Series moment involving Randy Orton. Let me know down below what's your favorite Survivor Series more, uh, moment involving him. He's had a plenty of great ones, so y'all have plenty to choose from. But I appreciate all love and support you guys on the channel. Go to 150K, and I'm still your unspeedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.